Trump wishes he didn't pick Jeff Sessions as Attorney General, President Trump, in a series of tweets Wednesday, agreed with GOP Representative Trey Gowdy that he could have picked any lawyer in the country rather than Jeff Sessions to be his Attorney General, declaring, I wish I did. Gowdy, a member of the House Intelligence Committee, commented Tuesday night on Fox News about Trump's annoyance with Sessions recusing himself from special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. The president quoted the South Carolina lawmaker at length in the tweets. I don't think so, I think what the president is doing is expressing frustration that Attorney General Sessions should have shared these reasons for recusal before he took the job, not afterward, Trump posted. If I were the president and I picked someone to be the country's chief law enforcement officer, and they told me later, oh by the way I'm not going to be able to participate in the most important case in the office, I would be frustrated too, and that's how I read that, Senator Sessions, why didn't you tell me before I picked you? Trump continued tweeting Gowdy's remarks, there are lots of really good lawyers in the country, he could have picked somebody else. Then the president concluded, and I wish I did. But Trump in his tweets didn't mention how Gowdy debunked his claim that the FBI planted an informant to spy on his campaign during the 2016 election. In the same interview on Fox, Gowdy said the FBI acted properly when it used an informant to talk to Trump campaign officials about possible Russian meddling in the election. I am even more convinced that the FBI did exactly what my fellow citizens would want them to do when they got the information they got, and that it has nothing to do with Donald Trump, he said. Gowdy, who is not running for another term, was among the group of bipartisan lawmakers who met last week with FBI Director Christopher Wray and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to review documents about the law enforcement agency's role in the election.